What's up guys, this is Josh here. You may have thousands of dollars owed to you and you may not even know it. I ran across this information today and I wanted to share it with the community here. So look here, the IRS owes millions of dollars in unclaimed tax refunds. You will have until this coming Monday, which is Monday, May the 17th, to find out if you qualify for a piece of the pie. We're talking about a pie that's $1.3 billion in unclaimed 2017 income tax refunds with the IRS. You don't want to leave any money on the table. So in this video today, I'm just going to briefly tell you what you need to do to see if you have money on the table. If you like and appreciate these quick video updates, be sure that you obliterate that like button. And if you're new to the channel, first I want to say welcome. And if you're looking for ways that you can save, make money, and you're interested in all things related to your finances, click that red subscribe button and until it turns gray and that way you don't miss anything. The IRS is required to hold unclaimed tax refunds for three years. By law, if you do not file for that refund after three years, that money officially becomes property of the U.S. Treasury and from there you will not be able to get that money no matter how much you scream and fight about it. For a 2017 income tax refund, you need to claim it by tax day, which is this coming Monday, May the 17th. To claim a refund for 2017, look here, you need to submit your 2017 tax form either online or through mail. And if you're going to send it through mail, it needs to be postmarked by this coming Monday, May the 17th. You may also need to file a 2018 and a 2019 tax refund too in order for the IRS to release your 2017 refund. And if you're missing a W-2, a 1098, a 1099, a 5498 form for 2017, I know those are a lot of numbers, right? The IRS recommends that you request a copy from your employer or maybe even your bank may have it. You can also get a free wage and income transcript from the IRS. Then you can use that information that's on your transcript in order to file for your tax return and I'm also going to leave a link down below how you can access your transcript and there's also a video where I go step by step as well on how you can request and view your transcript online and your 2017 taxes it could be subject to garnishments if you have any back taxes owed to the government or child support or something like that make sure you check out more related videos about your money right over over there subscribe by clicking the icon right here and that way you don't miss anything and I will see you in the next video